Okay, future Joni here. I was just editing this video and realized I was a, a step above tough love. You know that exercise is something I am passionate about and I got a little rough in this video. Um, so take it for what it is. I also got rough in this video because I had a really, really bad week with exercise last week. Um, with everything going on with the graduation and being away and just not in a great headspace, um, my exercise suffered last week and I felt like crap for it. Um, physically, emotionally, and mentally. Because I do crave that, I do need that. So I think a lot of this video was me taking frustration out on myself, <laughs> but it may not sound like that, but that's where a lot of it came from. So just take this video with a grain of salt. Um, it is what it is. That's all I have to say about that. So on with the video. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday. It's wet in day. And it is ugly with a capital U. Now, I expected a gain this week. I did because we ate out three meals Friday, two meals Saturday, and two meals Sunday. That's a lot of restaurant food. And we all know that restaurant food has a lot of sodium in it. And you can make what you think are good choices, but you have no idea what's in those things. There could be more butter than you expected. There could be more cream than you expected. Plus one of them was a celebration meal. You saw my vlog. You saw I did pretty well. I did not eat my face off. I did not eat all my food. Um, and I'm still up 3.2. Yep, 3.2. I'm a little surprised. I expected about two pounds, not 3.2. Um, I knew I was gonna be up, my rings are tight, my legs hurt, um, like the bottom of them, my ankles. I could just feel swollen, I felt the water. Um, funny though, like my clothes aren't tight or anything like that. And that's what leads me to believe a lot of it is water. Is that an excuse? Absolutely not. Um, Nothing I can do about it now, except move on and have a fantastic week. I think it'll probably take me a couple weeks to get it off because that's a lot. Um, I was going, I meant to weigh again and I forgot because I weigh on Tuesdays. I film this on Wednesdays. I meant to weigh this morning and I forgot and I was already all dressed and didn't feel like changing it up. So just to see if it went down any, um, but it is what it is, so I'm glad I got on the scale because I really debated not getting on the scale. And I thought, why? What is that going to do? Maybe seeing that gain will motivate me a little bit more. It's there, I can't hide it. So maybe it'll help. Because if I didn't get on the scale, I probably wouldn't have had a good day yesterday, wouldn't have a good day today because I, oh, I have time, I have time. I'm, if you don't know what damage you did, how do you know how to reverse that damage? That's how I feel for me. Everybody has to do what they're comfortable with, but that was a good reality check. So anyway, yep, abysmal way in, but I'm excited for next week. Although we're out twice this weekend. Saturday night is our monthly double date with our besties. We're doing dinner in Downton. Um, and then Sunday we have a christening. Luckily, I think I'll be fine with that because the person who's christening it is, um, you think I'm a crazy woman when it comes to ingredients and things like that. I don't like to use the word crazy woman. You think I'm passionate about that? Nope. Where the christening is, she makes me look like I'm eating, you know, Lance crackers and Little Debbie cakes for every meal. So I expect the food to be very good and very healthy. So that shouldn't be too bad. So we will see. So tune in next week and let's see if we were able to undo the weekend. That brings us to our weekly meeting topic. 
It is how to sneak movement into your day. Feel like you have no time for a full workout? Don't sweat it. You can add activity into things you're already doing. No, mo no moment or movement is too small. Okay, you now have a problem with that, right? Feel like you have no time for a full workout. Why not? If it's important to you, you're going to make time for it. You're going to schedule it in. So just admit, I don't want to work out. It's not important to me. Don't use the excuse that you don't have time. We all have 24 hours in a day and how we use them is up to us. Um, you know, pe Ooh. people say they don't have time for a workout. Hmm. They have time to play Wordle every day and they have time to, you know, watch this TV show or that TV show. So be honest with yourself. Do you not have time or is it just not important? Because there is no rule that you have to get up at 4.30 in the morning and work out. There is no rule that you have to go to the gym after work to work out. You can work out anytime. You can fit it in when you can fit it in. If you go to work and maybe on your lunch hour, take a walk. That's a workout. Take a walk. And I don't mean a stroll while casually, you know, scrolling through Facebook on your phone. Move your butt. Get that heart rate up. Maybe, you know, every night at 7 o'clock you sit down and watch Jeopardy. You know what? Maybe put Jeopardy on your DVR and at 7 o'clock do a workout. Throw YouTube on and do a Leslie Sansone walking workout or do a um, Paula B. hit training workout or something. Make the time. If it's important to you, if something is important to you, you're going to make the time to do it. If it's not important, you're going to find every excuse in the book. So, yeah, the first line I'm already kind of disagreeing with, WW. Um, but they are correct that, you know, try to get movement in wherever you can. Like, okay, it's beautiful weather here these last couple days, and I've had the babies outside playing. So while they're outside playing, if I'm not doing something else, like yesterday I was cleaning out the brooder box and stuff, I'll like get them engaged in like, hey, let's play tag, let's have a race. Or if they just wanna play in the sandbox or whatever, I'll do laps around the yard. It's movement, you can fit it in. If you cannot fit that kind of stuff into your day, if you sit at a desk all day, then it's really important that you prioritize yourself and prioritize your health and get movement in, in a formal way. Take that half hour, just a half hour. Think about it, you get 24 hours in a day. I'm only asking you to take a half of one of those hours and get a little movement in. So they say, try this. Pick one day this week and think about what's on your to-do list. Consider how you might sneak movement into those tasks. Pick your two favorite ideas from this list or dream up new ones and go. If you're at home, Stretch while waiting for your coffee to brew. Turn on some music and dance during dinner prep. Walk around the block or the house after getting your mail. If you're on the go, choose a parking space further from the entrance. Return your shopping cart to the front of the store. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. These are all great ways to sneak in a little movement. Oh, there's one more, at the office. Set a timer and get up to move every hour. That's what I love about the Apple Watch. It will remind you every hour to get up and move. Stand up each time you respond to a text or email and switch to a standing desk or place your laptop on a stack of books. So they are great ways to, I'm having a hot mess here this morning. They are great ways to sneak in some extra movement, but I really think you need to schedule some formal movement, not for weight loss, for our health. Like you have no idea, well you might, how important exercise is to our health. It works every system. It keeps things moving. It, it helps your digestive system. It keeps things moving, you know what I'm talking about. It builds muscle and I don't mean muscle, 
I mean your heart. Your heart is a muscle. You need to exercise those muscles. It comes down to doing it for your health, not weight loss. Does it help with weight loss? Yeah, it does. But I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot outrun your fork. You cannot outtrain a bad diet. You can go to the gym every day and still eat absolute crap. What's the point? You're not going to lose weight because you're eating crap. You know, you can you can put an hour's workout in, but go home and have, you know, like a sodium-filled lunch meat sandwich or something. And it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. You need to do both. You need to have the good, healthy diet and you need to have the exercise. They go together. They play off each other. Can you tell I'm a little passionate about this? Yeah. I wasn't always. And then I learned. Because you're never too old to learn. So it says, let's dive a little deeper. Fact. All movement adds up, whether it's 30 seconds or three minutes. That's the truth. But in 30 seconds, you're not getting your heart rate up. That's what burns fat. So if you're looking to exercise to burn fat, yes, it does add up. I'm not trying to sound like a Debbie Downer here. It does add up. But think about it. Think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Any movement does count. But I really, really, truly believe that you need to schedule some movement into your day. I think you need to make it a habit. So fact, all movement adds up, whether it's 30 seconds or three minutes. Myth, I need to be active for a certain amount of time a day for it to count. Talk to any doctor, talk to any expert. They're going to recommend 20 to 30 minutes of scheduled activity a day. Does any movement count? Absolutely. It does. But if you're doing 30 seconds every hour, are you getting the full benefits from that? Are you getting the endorphins that you get from exercise? Are you getting that? You know, I just spent 30 minutes of my life sweating to the oldies. I'm going to make better food choices. I'm not going to go have that blueberry muffin from the bakery. I'm going to have an egg and a piece of toast. Those endorphins that you get while you're exercising truly help you. They help your mindset. They help everything. And I'm just not sure you're getting them in 30 second intervals or one minute intervals. If you are, good for you. Keep doing what you're doing. If you're not, it's time for a change. Because we cannot continue to do the same things over and over and over again and expect change. We can't. We have to change if we want the change. We have to take control of our health. It has to be on us. And movement is one of those ways of doing it. Then they go on to say, despite our best efforts, activity sometimes ends up towards the bottom of our to-do list. But we'll let you in on a secret. Movement does, doesn't just look like hitting the gym. Yes, even those five extra steps to the furthest register or five minutes of dancing in the kitchen count. Sure, exercise can sometimes inspire an all or nothing mindset. If I can't work out for 30 minutes or more, I might as well not even bother. But the truth is some movement is always better than none and it adds up to benefit your health and weight loss journey. Absolutely, absolutely. But that comes back to the fact of if it's important to you, you will schedule it in. Your TV shows that you watch are important, so you make sure you're on the couch watching them, right? Yeah. Your, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of examples of what's important to people. Um, your 30-minute conversation on the phone every day with your best friend is important. You schedule it in. We schedule in what is important to us. We schedule in doing our housework, doing our, our work work, all that. We schedule that in. Why don't we schedule exercise in? Why is that at the bottom of the list? Why is that on the bottom of the list when we are all on a health journey? That should be priority. Because I'm guessing if you're listening to this, you're on a health journey. And 
we need to take that health journey seriously and we need to schedule the priorities that come with that. Look for opportunities to move that work with your schedule no matter how small they seem. The key is making activity doable so it feels like less of a chore and that you're more likely to keep doing it. When you get moving, take a minute and congratulate yourself. You're that much closer to your goals. So yes, absolutely take any opportunity you can to move. Take any opportunity. If you are watching a TV show, get up during the commercials and do jumping jacks if your body physically allows you to do that. If it doesn't physically allow you to do that, do stretches, do walk from side to side, take a lap around the house, do something during those commercials. Start small and keep adding to it. But it all comes down to priorities. What is your priority? And maybe it's time to look at those priorities and maybe it's time to switch them up a little bit. Yep. I don't like to get out of bed at 4.35 o'clock in the morning to exercise. I don't, but I do it because it's important to me. And that's the time I can fit it in. I'm not fitting it in at the end of the day. I'm gonna be honest, not gonna work for me. So find what works for you. Maybe the end of the day is better for you. Maybe you go out and take a family walk. Maybe you do something as a family. Find out what works for you and build it into your day. Make it a routine, make it a habit. Because once you make it a routine and make it a habit, trust me, it's gonna become important to you and it's gonna become a priority and your health is going to become a priority. That's what it's all about. Oh boy, that was a lot of tough love. You know, I do these videos for you guys to give you my perspective and it is my perspective. It is my feelings because it's my channel. <laughs> you know I don't coddle people and you know I don't tell people what they wanna hear. I do these videos for me too because you know what? I need to hear it sometimes. I do. I need to hear that I need to get up off my derriere and get it moving. So take it with a grain of salt. If you needed to hear it, great. I'm glad you heard it. If you hated it, that's fine too. You know, I am what I am. So my friends, get moving. Just a little bit. You know, maybe I should have said in the beginning, while you're watching this video, get up and move while you're watching this video. Don't sit on the couch. Get up and move, get that heart rate up. Check with your doctor first if you have any issues and let's get moving. Let's do this. We can do this together. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video. Summer's coming. I'm hoping to get a lot more videos up, a lot more cook with me's and things like that. Once my life settles down a little bit. If you know someone that can benefit by this video, please feel free to share it with them. I will talk to you all in my next video. Get up, get moving my friends.